it's missing the no dude don't pick in please <laughs> what all right guys we're gonna be playing jack in the box uh this game had just came out i believe and uh yeah i'm very intrigued uh so just to i guess to tell you guys um I used to uh, watch a lot of creepypastas back in the day when it blew up. I think it was around like 2012, 2013, somewhere around that. Uh, the, between those years, uh, if I was, um, you know, really, you know, probably shouldn't be reading. But I was mostly watching these videos that were being covered by Mr. Creepypasta and Mick Creepy, Mick Creepypasta. I don't know. It was mostly Mr. Creepypasta. He was the main channel that I... Uh, you know, um, listened and watched these videos that he would make and not to mention the images that, you know, are from these, um, creepypastas did not help, <laughs> did not help, uh, at all, but they really, it really just add to that, I guess, immersion, you can call it, you know, when he's reading the story to you, he's got a good voice. Uh, be sure to check him out. <laughs> But uh, anyways, I don't know who actually, I don't know who's the original writer or the person that made the Jack in the Box creepypasta. You're going to have to look that up. Um, but anyways, somebody made a game of this that's based off the creepypasta. Um, it's made by Dominic Brown. Be sure to check him out. I'll leave his link down below um, in the description. So, uh, yeah. I read this particular story too, and I remember it being very disturbing. Well, all creepypastas are pretty disturbing, but I think this one was more so because of, I don't know, I can't remember. It's very vague. It's, it's been a long time since I've listened to it. Um, and, uh, yeah, well, whatever. Gonna play this and see how it goes. I think it's about five minutes, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, running, bobbing, sure, sensitivity, maybe take that off a notch. Okay. Maybe an occlusion, bloom, chromatic aberration. Don't know what that means, but I'm just going to leave it alone. Martian blur? Yeah, we could just leave that. I don't typically typically like Martian blur, especially in shooter games or any game, really. <laughs> um, but I'm just going to leave it since it's only like five minutes, and I guess it creates that realistic, you know, atmosphere, you can say. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Start the game, and uh, be sure to leave a like. All right, so my son James keeps talking about this clown named Laughing Jack. I believe it's just an imaginary friend, like any parent would. But ever since that day when he first talked about him, strange things started happening. I don't know how faithful it is to the original story. Let's see, and I'm having nightmares which look very realistic. Oh, I've had nightmares like that. But everything is black and white. Okay, maybe not nightmares like that, but kind of. <laughs> okay, so we're in this... In, in one of his nightmares, whoever this dude is. Uh, who, whoever this dude is. <laughs> yeah. The dad. I just call him the dad. Whoa, look at this. Okay, and it looks like a circus over there. But let's talk about the graphics. Okay, the graphics are not bad. Not too shabby at all. It's not perfectly hyper realism fucking photo. I don't even know. 4K. <laughs> um, but. It's still not bad. I mean, this can honestly work with the, the game. Um, I think it works with the game. It doesn't have to be hyper-realistic. Uh, the bobbing motion is kind of a nice way of mimicking head movement in a way. I don't know if I like that. Uh, maybe it grow it grow on me, but it looks like a playground set right here. And the sky is dark. I swear I had like maybe a dream like this. Honestly, not that I think about him. I used to have this dream of a man in the mist back when I was like five years old. I call it that because it's literally like a misty like. It was literally like this misty, and all I could see like the silhouette of a man, and and uh, and I was on my bed, and I was for some reason happy and joyful, and, and that disturbed me. But I don't know. I'm not gonna get into that. But that was a weird ass dream, man. Fucking like th these type of surreal dreams just get to you, you know. I never. Yeah, it just kind of like. I don't know, it's pretty intriguing how the mind works, I guess. But in this case, I think it is a very, 
uh, I think it may be, I think this dude is pretty fucked. <laughs> because this is Laffy Jack, so. So what is this? Like, um, I guess it's like a park. They got like a circus. Okay. Connect. Okay, handle is missing. Press escape, what the fuck? Why was I looking up? Handle is missing, okay. Okay, dude, come on. Why is it gotta be pitch black now? Oh! <laughs> dude, no. Hold on, I need a drink. <laughs> and by drink, I mean alcohol. All I got is coffee. I don't have to do. That is open now. I do not want to look in there, but maybe there's... Okay, there's nothing. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the video got to be entertaining, man. I can't pussy out, man. I got to gotta make the video entertaining. Uh, okay, now it's dark. I wonder why. That's interesting. Transition. Kind of gives me the Silent Hill vibes at the start. And, you know, with, with it being misty and all. This is five minutes? Oh, my God, dude. If it's five minutes, that fucking jump scare has got to hit hard then. <laughs> right? Right now, it's being pretty suspenseful. What's that? Oh, the handle. Okay. That's a, that's exactly what I need. Okay. I am not even going to bother checking it out. Uh, I don't want to risk dying. That's the thing. I don't... Man. F f f f man, hell no. I <laughs> nah. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. Oh, even the face has Laughing Jack's face, maybe? Oh. Eyes! Whoa. Winded? Why? What the fuck when I look away? Oh my god, look at those eyes, dude. That is... Disturbing. Oh my god, is that the same winding noise? Well, I guess every box makes the same winding noise out of that. I hate this dude. I'm always no. Oh! <sighs> Hello? What the fuck? Hey, I thought this game was five minutes. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my god! I hate being chased. That I really don't like that feeling. Where am I? Okay, now we're in. We're not even in like in a place that's based in real life. This is like something else now. You know, at least we're like in a park. Something that look, you know, normal in a sense. I think that's is what I'm trying to say or get to. Uh, no, this doesn't look normal at all. It's, it's like a... Oh my god! Fuck you, man! <laughs> you see what I mean? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, if I had died there, that would have been shitty. Oh my god, dude. Oh, shit. Fucking bitch, man. Fucking. <laughs> okay. Let's go. We got this. Fucking bitch was large, man. You saw that big bitch? Is that my kid? I don't know, man. You ain't messing with my kid. The fuck? The hell's going on? I thought this game was fine. This uh, maybe I misread. What the hell's going on? I like how immediately I have a flashlight on hand. <laughs> I sleep with a flashlight. Just goes to show how terrified I am. All right. I need to grab a knife. Oh shit! Fuck, man, that's my kid. Oh, the kitchen. Okay, got the knife. Whoever you are, you're not taking my son away from me. Hell yeah, man. I'm not taking my fucking kid. Open the door. Gotta bust it down. Kick that shit, man. There's blood. What? Where's my kid? Where the hell is my kid? There's fucking blood. They went out the window? There's a, f there's a box. 
I don't want to do this shit. <clears throat> I don't got time for this. Come on. It's missing the... No, dude. Don't pick in place. <laughs> what? This time it wasn't just a nightmare anymore. Check in the box. Made using Unity 3D. Well, well, I guess that was a little more than five minutes. <laughs> it was a short game, nonetheless. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. Pretty cool short game. Um, hold on, let's try to let this finish. Real quick, sound effects. Beta test, man. This is a full game, man. I'm behind. I could get behind this. Fucking hell. Wow, man. Great job. Great job. I loved it. I do love the VHS effect to filter. Oh, I can... I think that... You know... Um... Anyways. Let me try to... Kind of... Gather my thoughts here. So, anyways, the gameplay is good. Uh, the head bobbing motion is not bad. You know, it's not to the point to where it bothers me personally. I don't know about anyone else. Uh... It is very suspenseful, I guess, from the start. Um, I guess with the the dad, um, he's kind of narrating the story in a way, except he's not really speaking. He's just kind of, you see the subtitles or whatever uh, in the in the beginning, right? He kind of tells about his son, about this imaginary friend. And even from there, you get kind of a uneasy feeling, you know? It's pretty sad uh, what he has, what the dad has to go through now. Um, <clears throat> I mean, if it was just the dad being tormented, that's one thing. But, you know, now his son is involved and it ain't cool, man. It ain't cool. Um, which creates, you know, the kind of, you know, his son's life is at stake, right? And that's much more, you know, his son's pretty valuable to him of course he's a father uh <clears throat> anyways um yeah pretty suspenseful um the eyes i do like that i do like the eyes just kind of staring at you from these kind of uh i don't even know what they're called <laughs> uh these you know these small buildings that we see uh in that park whatever that place is it looks like it's close to Maybe we're at the circus is at whatever that this dream we're in, uh, or nightmare. You could call it a nightmare. I would call it a nightmare. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So first we were at the park, and we eventually had to find this handle for the, you know, the this jack in the box looking thing, right? Because it was missing the handle. So we look for it. We find it in a bench, and we take it back. Um, of course, like every horror game, as you progress, naturally, it, it's going to get a little bit more creepier. The suspense starts building. I do like when games do that in a good way. Uh, not like Mrs. Guatemala, just saying. <laughs> just fucking... Anyways. Um, yeah, I do like the build-up of suspense. They do it. Uh, Dominic does it pretty well. Um, I don't want to say it's just Dominic. I don't know if it's just him or um, maybe... He's got uh, other people working on it, but anyways, great job nonetheless on that. Um, the fucking Jack just rushing into my face did not help. I thought that fucking died. I was kind of worried I failed. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like dying. Uh, well, I didn't very much did not like Jack running at me. That fucker's big, man. Very big. Um, after that, well... I forgot to say where we the nightmare kind of transitions into this mazy looking I don't know man like it's I don't know how to describe it it's like everywhere it has like the same pattern of this kind of I don't know it's trippy uh 
it definitely starts to feel worse because now, now it's you know it's not in the park outside it isn't it's not like in the it is not like in a place that feels normal now it's very we're out of, in a place that's very out of place if that makes sense and it's just it definitely builds that dread in you it's like we're fucked you know but and, um yeah and then we see our kid and laughing jack playing with each other and well we can see the silhouettes there's like a light you know there's like this light as that we can see that's you know um i don't know what kind of light is it i don't know if it's good light or what but anyways deep um uh in this hallway like um <clears throat> i don't even know man it's just very trippy um i'm very bad at describing things i'm sorry i don't um but and then we wake up so um we wake up uh we already have a flashlight in hand <laughs> i like how he already has a flashlight in hand uh but anyways uh, yeah you get up you're hearing all this commotion going on at the kids room we get a you know we look for a knife because you know the door's locked now so no that's you know the father's definitely worried it makes us worried very worried you know and we bust down the door and and, and we see nothing except a whole fucking mess uh, the rooms look like it's been fucking look like somebody's just throw shit everywhere you know uh, I don't know if they were looking for something or someone I don't know uh, we don't see our kid which is pretty interesting and doesn't help with the anxiety <laughs> and um you know, we wind up the box. We find the box, right? The Laughing Jack box. We wind it up. And what well, we see in real life now. It's not the dream. We wind it up fully. The, um, the toy or whatever doesn't come out this time. There's nothing in it. Because Jack is, Jack is not in the box. He is right behind us as we slowly turn. Or the ca slowly the camera pans. Uh, you know. Behind us and... There's Jack, that big fucking Jack, man. He's just standing behind us. Um, so, yeah, I do like his look. I do like Laughing Jack's look. It's pretty pretty faithful to the, I guess, to the creepypasta, you know? Um, there's, like, very different iterations of, you know, how he looks like and this and that, you know? But I do like this look. Um I do feel like maybe they could make it more creepier, though. Because, um, once you get a good look at him, sir, he's not as creepy as when he was barging, you know, or fucking about to tackle your ass and earlier. And, you know, you couldn't really see much. And I could see him is just running towards you. So, I mean, I, you know, it just seems, anyways, my point is, like, just see him, you know, standing still like that. He doesn't look that creepy. Uh, maybe. I don't know how you can make it more creepier than that, but I don't know. Anyways, that is it. Um, I think that's all I have to say right now. Um, oh, the audio. Audio was good. The ambient. Yes, the ambient definitely. Uh, definitely fit in with the situation it uh, or the environment you know uh, really adds really stacks maybe not stacks maybe that's a poor choice of word uh, maybe it adds that um, factor of fear and you know what you know uh, the creator is trying to achieve you know I think he did a good job in achieving it uh, that that fear and creepiness and horror um i think it's a really great job on the depiction of jack in the box i think it was pretty faithful although i haven't read the story in a long time so it's kind of tough for me i don't know if i should say that but i think it's pretty faithful at, at least on the look i i know i know his look mostly than the, the story i i it's been a long time um uh man um 
I don't know if he's going to do a full release of the game or something like that. Um, because this seems like a demo, you know? I don't know if it's like a demo or just like a short game. It's just, you know. But um, I don't know. I would love to see like a really decent, at least like a decent Jeff the Killer game. You know, I do like Jeff the Killer. I feel like there hasn't been a good Jeff the Killer game. Um, I think that'd be a good one or... I don't know, there's a whole different array of material creepypastas, you know, out there, so, but Jeff the Killer is one that comes to mind, you know, that I would like to see, uh, as a, you know, decent, uh, video game, you know, so, anyways, that is it, I have been rambling on about this game, um, yeah, I can, and, the, oh yeah, the graphics, um, Graphics are not too bad. I I say it fits in with the, you know. I say, it, you know, it works. I would say that. Um, you could even just use that, and I, I think I even said before that you know, if you just use this type of graphics, you know, I think it'll work. You know. I say you know too much. Okay, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. <laughs> that's it. Uh, I guess that's my review or something like that. Uh, and. <sighs> Yeah, be sure to check out the creator. I'll leave his link down below in the description. And um, yeah, until the next reaction or game, uh, be sure to stay tuned. And um, yeah, y'all have a good day. I'll see you then.